When it comes to building big, China doesn't just build fast, it builds massively, and often in record time. From high-speed rail networks, to colossal bridges, and entire cities rising from the ground in a few years, China's mega-projects are reshaping the world and leaving countries like the United States in the dust. In this video, we're diving into the most jaw-dropping Chinese mega-projects that would take the U.S. decades, if not longer, to build. Let's start with one of China's crown jewels, its high-speed rail network. As of 2025, China has over 45,000 kilometers of high-speed rail, more than the rest of the world combined. These trains travel at speeds up to 350 kilometers per hour, connecting almost every major city and making travel faster than flying in many cases. Now compare that to the US. The fastest train in America, Amtrak's Acela, barely touches 150 miles per hour, and even that's on a limited stretch between Boston and Washington, D.C. The long-delayed California high-speed rail project, still under construction, and it's been 15 years since the first shovel hit the ground. Next up, Beijing Doxing International Airport. Opened in 2019, this $11 billion megahub was built in just five years. Designed by the late Zaha Hadid, it's one of the world's largest single building terminals, and it's stunning. It handles up to 100 million passengers per year, with streamlined immigration, facial recognition tech, and robot guides. Now look at the US. LAX's renovation has taken over a decade and cost more than $14 billion. And it's still just a renovation. JFK is undergoing a similar multi-phase overhaul, but nothing near Doxing's scale or speed. China is simply outbuilding the US and outpacing it by every metric. Water isn't as flashy as bullet trains, but it's critical, and China's South-North Water Transfer Project is an engineering marvel on a level most countries can't even attempt. The goal? Move water from the wet south to the dry north, including Beijing, over thousands of kilometers, using canals, tunnels, and pumping stations. It's the largest water transfer project in history and has already cost over $80 billion. Just imagine the red tape, lawsuits, and environmental battles such a project would face in the US. It would take generations to build. In China, it's already delivering billions of cubic meters of water every year. In the US, it can take 10 years just to get approval for a skyscraper in New York. In China, entire skyscraper cities are built from nothing in just a few years. Take Shenzhen, a fishing village in the 1980s now a tech metropolis with over 17 million people. Or the Xiong'an New Area, a futuristic city being built from scratch to take pressure off Beijing. Planners expect it to house millions with green energy, smart infrastructure, and no urban sprawl. Meanwhile, the US struggles with crumbling roads and underfunded transit systems. The difference in planning and execution, night and day. This one's mind-blowing. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, the world's longest sea crossing bridge and tunnel system, stretching 55 kilometers across the Pearl River Delta. Built in just nine years, it includes artificial islands, a seven kilometers underwater tunnel, and multiple bridge spans. Costing about $20 billion, it connects three major cities and slashes travel time from three hours to just 30 minutes. Now imagine trying to build a similar structure connecting, say, San Francisco to Sacramento across water, with tunnels. The permitting alone would take 20 years. Deep in China's Guizhou province, engineers are building the Huajiang Canyon Bridge, set to become the world's highest suspension bridge. Spanning 625 meters above the canyon floor, it will be taller than the Eiffel Tower in Paris. This isn't just a record breaker, it's a lifeline. The bridge will slash travel time across the canyon from over an hour to just a minute, boosting trade and tourism in one of China's poorest regions. And here's the kicker it's being built in just five years. In the US, the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge took nearly two decades to retrofit. Meanwhile, China is building a canyon-spanning marvel faster than most US cities fix a pothole. If there's one project that defines China's mega-building mindset, it's this, the Three Gorges Dam, the largest hydroelectric power station on Earth. 
Stretching over 2.3 kilometers across the Yangtze River and standing 185 meters tall, it's a concrete wall so massive it literally slowed Earth's rotation by a fraction when its reservoir filled. Built in less than 20 years, the dam generates more than 23,000 megawatts, enough to power entire countries and includes a ship elevator system that moves vessels up the height of a 40-story building. In the U.S., major dams like Hoover or Glen Canyon were marvels of the 20th century, but nothing has come close to the scale and power of the Three Gorges Dam in the 21st century. It's not just a power plant, it's a symbol of what China can accomplish when it builds big. So, why can China pull off mega projects in under a decade while the U.S. struggles to fix potholes? Two key reasons, centralized decision-making and long-term planning. China's top-down model means fewer bureaucratic hurdles. Once a project is greenlit, it gets done fast. In contrast, the U.S. faces endless lawsuits, environmental reviews that take years, local opposition, and political gridlock. And then there's funding. America's infrastructure is often underfunded or tied up in partisan fights. China's mega projects aren't just about size. They're about speed, efficiency, and ambition. Whether you admire or criticize its methods, one thing's clear. China is building the future and doing it at turbo speed. If the U.S. wants to keep up, it'll need more than just money. It'll need a whole new mindset. What do you think? Should the U.S. streamline its infrastructure process? Or are the trade-offs too steep? Leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into global mega projects.